Ndala, 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 ndala. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a little follow-up on several of the questions that I've received regarding cutting cords. And I think my perspective on some of the elements and some of the questions and some of the comments that I've, I've seen and I've received may help some of you. First of all, I do think that there are cords that you will not be able to cut no matter what ritual you are using. Okay, and this is not to talk about, you know, the, the efficiency or the, 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 the strength of the ritual that you're finding, the best tradition from whatever. It has nothing to do with that. My perspective on this is that there are chords that we create ourselves when we decide to engage with certain people, when we go towards certain people. And there are chords that are created beyond our control for our own spiritual development and that are not within our control. On this channel, I often mention and repeat over and over and over that there are thousands of things that we control in terms of what we decide to do, the perspective that we take on things, how we deal with our feelings, how we express our feelings, how we act, how we think, and what we decide, the perspective, perspective that we take, etc., etc., etc. However, I also say that there are, uh, there is um, what I call the five percent, the five percent of things that are beyond your control, that are here in order for you to experience certain things, in order for you to grow, in order for you to develop, and without which life will be, you know, very dull. Because if you could just overcome everything and everything was so smooth and quiet there wouldn't be much point of being here. If you already knew everything in advance that was going to happen, then there wouldn't be you know, much to life itself. And that element of mystery, that element of unknown, that element of things that are beyond the control is what makes your experience down here worth what it is worth. So even though you have these elements that are beyond your control, that you can't move and escape from as much as you will try the perspective the experience that you have about it is within your control so from this perspective this is where i come from when i say there are chords that you won't be able to cut no matter what other people are telling you this is why when you do some people would give you rituals you do it and then later on you still is connected to this person this person keeps coming showing back up or what have you or a few years later or what have you not because the ritual didn't work, it's just because it's not the type of course that can be cut, period. This is what I've said also when you're talking about your biological parents. You know, example that I've given in other videos is in terms of a child that has been adopted. And that child, even though the child has been adopted and sometimes you haven't even mentioned and that it doesn't even know, there is a quest within that child in terms of the biological link that's missing especially when you start observing family members and not seeing himself or herself in those other people not because they're not kind or anything like that it just has to do with the innate uh, nature of like recognize like so in that sense that biological cord is still on in the muslim tradition this is also known that when this is why they don't recognize adoption even if a child is legally adopted, the paternal filiation still still remains because that is said that you cannot cut it. And so this is not to make you, for those of you who are struggling with this, for those of you who've asked and for those of you who are rebellious or for those of you... Uh, for those of you who are thinking that you know you have a bad relationship with your parents or some family members and you would like to cut cords and stuff like that, the cutting of cords, most likely, uh, not the cutting of cords, most of the time, for, for my observation, operates on a psychological level. Okay, it makes you feel better that you perform this ritual, and yes, and then that psychological level has manifest itself, and you feel better. But the cord is still there, my dear. Okay, you can't cut yourself from your from the person who gave you birth, however uh, maleficent this person may be. That's you are a fruit of that womb. And so you shouldn't be 
ashamed of who that person is it has nothing to do with you in a in a specific way that person also chooses to be the way they are or they are a product of what happened to them they have their own stories they have their own challenges and yes you don't have to be burdened with that you don't have to carry that burden with you but i'm going to be honest with you a lot of people are selling you this you know, this cord cutting thing when it's not that those cords are not just there so that you can feel good and i think this is part of the notion in terms of like oh something is painful i'm just gonna cut it i'm just gonna escape and withdraw myself from it so i never have to feel pain who ha who um never has to feel pain no, you want to be laughing all the time. Even when you laugh all the time, your jaw starts to hurt. If somebody tickles you and makes you and tickles you, it gets to the point where you get angry because it starts to hurt. So nobody is going to laugh all the time and nobody is going to be in pain all the time unless you want to be. So the chords is not there for you to be feeling hurt constantly and to you to do this and that the cord is just there the same way you exist the cord exists okay the physical notion where the baby is born and they cut the umbilical cord is a physical aspect of it but it doesn't materialize in the spiritual the same way you are always connected to the divine you can't cut yourself from the divine but you can interfere and you can align yourself with things that are going to be negative for you Okay, and that's been translated in all of the religious system as, you know, aligning yourself with demon, the devil, Satan, all those different type of things. In other spiritual system, in, in terms of uh, darkness and, and negative forces. Okay, so I'm not saying that those things don't, don't exist. They are there. And the fact that you align that, but even when you align with them, you're always still connected to the divine. And this is why you can always go back to the divine. And so to talk about the, the, the cords that you can't cut, one of them is the cord with your parents. On a, a conscious level, you, you're feeling like you don't know your parents, your parents are hurtful, they're this and that and that, you don't appreciate them or they don't appreciate you, they don't understand you, you need to move to a different town, do different things, be far away from them, fine. But they are your parents. On a spiritual level, you choose those two people and that family to come through. It's the combination of them that, that resulted in you, that resulted to you to make you. This is why you can turn to them for blood donation. This is why you can inherit in some of their uh, genetic aspects. And that you can't cut. Okay, you can't cut. Unless you want to cut yourself, you're not going to be to cut them because you are a result, a product of both of them. Now, when we talk about other type of chords, uh, such as relationships, for example, relationships, to me, like I said, there are chords that are not under your own volitions, meaning that you can't just cut it because you feel like it. And um, so those chords includes those that you, uh, that you, that, that come to be when you have a partner and you have a child. The same way the child cannot cut themselves from you, you cannot cut yourself from this partner because you have a child together. And even sometime, or even when the child is gone, you, you still can cut yourself from this person because you came together to bring something on this plane of existence. And this is why I always, always tell women, you know, no matter how the man hurt you, no matter how this and that and that, what happened between you and the man has nothing to do with what's happening between the man and the child. Okay, unless the man is abusive towards the child, you have no business interfering in that relationship. And this is why when you are going through your pain, you have to set your pain aside and make decisions that are beneficial, not just to yourself, but to the child as well. And, you know, sometimes I do get those comments in terms of, oh, you're always talking about women. First of all, I am a woman. Most of the individuals on my channel are women. And another thing, darling, you can control what other people do. So you better, you will be better off knowing what you can do rather than knowing that all, all the things that men in general can do or people who are out there can do. 
Worry about what you can do for your own well-being. This is where it starts. This is where this is what you should be worrying about it. And not always expecting or hoping that somebody is going to act a certain way. Because you don't control them. They will always do what they want to do and what's best for them to do. Which is what you should be doing. So, and I do also have videos where I, I, I also address men. Because it's, uh, it's, it's both. You need both men and women working on themselves to do better in order for the group the entire group to do better okay it's not gonna it's not gonna work if any everyone is doing whatever they want and going in all type of direction but at the same time it's not because somebody is deviating that you should deviate as well okay two wrong don't make a right you know um but um you should still strive to be uh, to do your best and to keep improving on yourself not in a malicious calculating kind of way but from a spiritual place, from a place of love and compassion for yourself first and for others around you. And that, that's what my channel is about. And I do recognize that this is not what everyone wants. <laughs> but if you stay on my channel and you watch my videos, this is what you're going to get. I'm not going to be here, you know, telling you to hope that someone else has changed. I'm not going to sit here telling you what everyone else should be doing. That is not my approach. That is not my philosophy. And that is not what my, my teaching are based on. A lot of the traditions are based on you doing your part. You can't force anyone else to do their part. You need to do yours. And when you are not doing your part and you're busy looking at what other people are not doing, and you can't be doing your part and at the same time being busy looking at what other people are doing. And so it's just for you, men and women, you know, the cord, when I say this cord that you can't cut, the, the guy cannot cut it either. Okay? And so in relationships, when those are relationships where you don't have that connection with that person where you brought somebody in, it doesn't mean that this is a, a cord that you can cut. Okay? When somebody's obsessing about you, um, the, most, for the most part, there's no ritual that is going to make them disobsess. Okay? They need to see a professional. And even then, sometimes there's something deeper within that that they need to deal with. Okay, but simply saying, thinking that um, this is going to be this quick fix, which I said on a psychological level, it can give you that quick fix that enables you to focus on something else and not focus on the cord. And that's the thing that makes you think that the cord is cut because you're just focusing on something else. And the good news about that, it actually means that you need to focus on something else. So even aside from even doing the ritual, it's just the point that you focus on something else. You do not give in the mind games. You do not keep playing the same thing, throwing oil on the fire and things like that. Keep on working on yourself and you see that a lot of the, some of the things that you're going through will fall into place, will fall, fall behind. So... If you are looking for a quick fix and you've been going around uh, in circles and stuff like that, you're probably not going to like this video, but it's okay because, you know, it's not for everyone. My, my channel is not for people who are looking for quick fixes or for something that's really quick, uh, looking for a, a band-aid when they have wounds, deep wounds. So it, it's going to require you looking into yourself. And uh, as much as we say we attract this, we attract that, no, sometimes we don't attract it. This is something that's laid into our experience in order for us to grow out of it, to grow from it. Um, so it's not necessarily the way that all, all people say that you're attracted to yourself. No, sometimes it's always, it was already on your path that you had to go through it. But the good news is that like, if it's on your path, that means you can go through it. That means you can overcome it. There's nothing that's going to be laid down there that you can't. Unless you don't want to. And the same for the cords. Uh, if you're thinking about, oh, you need to cut a cords, there's a deeper thing for you to look, to look at. Your own relationship and your own perception of that person. Your own feelings for that person. And I mean your deep feelings, not the feelings that you're telling everyone else. And that you're saying uh, to everyone else. So I'm going to stop here. I think that the, the conversation and discussion around cutting cords is interesting to me, even though uh, to me it gets a, a, a little boring because it's um, oftentimes the same kind of um, 
uh, circumstances and situations. If you look at the comments, it's oftentimes the same situation that people are referring to. Uh, if you look at the comments on that video, um, so to me, it gets a little bit old. Uh, but I also do understand that um, when you are going through it, you are going through some things or a situation, you are looking for anything that will make you feel better in the moment. And instead of processing those feelings or processing things and letting things unfold, you are trying to escape from it. And that may lead you to one of those videos. <laughs> like I said in my other videos, instead of trying to cut the cord, you should be restituting your own energy, redirecting and refocusing your energy and your mind into healing yourself. Okay. And of course, if you need help with that, we can have a quick consultations. Uh, you can email me. My uh, contact is in the description box or you can find me on Instagram or Facebook. Okay, so uh, of course, let me know what you think in the comment section. If you disagree or if you agree, uh, if you had a different experience in terms of cord cutting, uh, uh, let me know and um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.